Module 1, Breast Anatomy The breast develops early in the fetus along the milk line, eventually forming a primitive breast bud. These early ducts canalize by the end of intrauterine life and open into a small pit, which everts at birth to form the nipple. At puberty, rapid development of the female breast occurs. The ducts elongate and branch and small lobules develop at the duct ends. The ductal system is lined by one or two layers of columnar secretory cells and a basement membrane. With the onset of ovarian function, the breast matures and the ends of the ducts differentiate into secreting alveoli, or acini, forming lobules and the terminal duct lobular unit. Under the influence of pregnancy, the duct system grows and more acini and lobules are formed. The secretory function of the glands increases progressively and milk secretion begins a few days after delivery. Milk production is variable and slowly declines after suckling stops and subsequently the breast involutes. With degeneration of the secretory cells, the acini become obliterated and there is an increase in the fibrous stroma. After the menopause, the secretory epithelium of the lobules atrophies, leaving only a few scattered ducts separated by fibrous stroma. Over time, changes occur in the epithelial elements when the interstitial tissue becomes less cellular and fibrous tissue decreases.